what started as Captain Ibrahim Traoré's distant dream, is slowly turning into reality, as Russia shows more interest to help Burkina Faso become the first landlocked country in Africa to have a nuclear power plant. We say this because, eight months after the youthful military leader requesting Vladimir Putin, during the Russia-Africa summit in St. Petersburg, in July 2023, to help him set up a nuclear power plant in Burkina Faso, as the only solution to address the rising demand for electricity, the two countries have started laying the necessary foundations for that plant to be set up. The latest developments on the same being, signing of a roadmap, or rather step-by-step -step guide, of what will be done, for the dream to be materialized, including training of Burkina nuclear scientists, by the Russians, ahead of the construction of the plant. The roadmap, which also includes the terms of cooperation with Russia, was signed by the Burkina Minister of Energy and Mines, Yakuba Zabre Goba, and the president of the Russian state company, Rosatom, Alexei Lukachev, on March 26, 2024, in Sochi, on the sidelines of the 13th International Nuclear Energy Forum. And while in Russia, this is what the Burkina minister said on the matter. Nous sommes accordés avec la société d'État Rosatom. We have agreed with the state company Rosatom, so that by June, we are done with signing these three memorandums, which will later initiate another procedure, which is the development and collaboration agreement, that will set the normative frameworks for collaboration between Burkina Faso and the Russian Federation, represented by Rosatom. L'État du Burkina Faso et l'État de la Fédération de, de Russie, représenté par la société d'État Rosatom. Enfin, et nous aurons euh, la question même de la construction de la centrale. Finally, we will have the very question of the construction of the nuclear power plant, which subsequently allows us to be able to look at it together and discuss the question purely on a technical and economic model, which allows support the establishment of this plant. Nous accompagner à la mise en place de cette centrale. On his part, the director of Rosatom had this to say. Прошлогодняя встреча президента Российской Федерации господина Путина и президента переходного периода Буркина Фасо господина Трауре. The close friendship between President Putin and the transitional president, Captain Ibrahim Traoré, gave the start of this cooperation in the field of nuclear energy. For almost a year, we have been preparing the roadmap, and we have designated the steps to be taken. It's important that this cooperation takes place in Africa, and particularly in Burkina Faso, for its energy and non-energy fields. Should the nuclear power plant be built, President Traoré believes it will guarantee Burkina Faso's sovereignty in the energy sector, and foster the establishment of factories, which will create jobs for his people, and help the economy grow. And before you ask, yes, there have been concerns, on how a landlocked country, that is partially arid, will have a nuclear power plant, yet we are accustomed to seeing them being constructed close to seas, because of their need to use a huge amount of water for cooling. The concerns have however evoked arguments that it is absolutely possible for Burkina Faso to have the plant despite being landlocked, since even the biggest electricity generator in the US, that is the Palo Verde nuclear power plant, is located in Arizona, very far away from the sea. And being the only desert nuclear power plant in the Western Hemisphere, Palo Verde reclaims and uses wastewater from local cities like Phoenix for condenser cooling. But for reactor coolant and steam, it normally uses demineralized and deionized well water, so perhaps the Burkina plant will borrow a thing or two from this one. Or alternatively, they can approach it the Chinese way and build a reactor that is much safe, inexpensive, doesn't use uranium as its fuel, and doesn't require water for its cooling process. That is, a reactor like this one located on the edge of China's Gobi Desert, which uses thorium as fuel, instead of uranium. But with uranium being in plenty just across the border, that is, in Niger, our guess is that a uranium plant will be the option. In any case, landlocked countries like Austria, Belarus, Armenia, Switzerland and Slovakia also have their operational uranium-based nuclear power plants. In Africa, South Africa is the only country that currently has a nuclear power plant with its two-unit Coburg plant, but many other countries like Egypt, Ghana, Kenya, Morocco, Niger, Nigeria, Algeria, Tunisia and Uganda have shown interest to build their own, and are already engaging the International Atomic Energy Agency to assess their readiness to embark on their nuclear programs.